question 6 solve 6 cosine squared of x is equals to 5 sine of x the range is given x should be greater than or equal to 0 and it should be less than or equal to 180 now the first thing you're going to do is to make everything to be uniform you can see you're dealing with cosine and sine there's no way you're going to solve that equation having cosine and sine you either convert all of them to be sine or all of them to be cosine the easier one is to make them to be sine and how do you do that so look at cosine squared x look at that so you're going to use the identity the identity is uh, cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equals to one using this identity you notice if you make cosine squared x the subject you get it as cosine squared x is equals to one subtract sine squared x so this is what you're going to use so you're going to substitute cosine squared x with one subtract sine squared x so we write it here so six cosine squared x is the same as one minus sine squared x you substitute it there is equals to five sine of x then the brackets here you'll get six minus six sine squared x is equals to 5 sin x organize these when you organize these uh because you can see this one is uh, taking the format of a quadratic equation if you organize it you'll get this one as taking everything on the left hand side to the right hand side you will have 6 sin squared x plus 5 sin x minus 6 is equals to 0 so can you look at this notice that this one is a quadratic equation and um you can substitute sine x with let's say a letter like y that you can solve this one easily so let sine of x be any letter let's say y so if sine of x is equals to y what about sine squared x that one will be 6y squared plus 5 sine x is y minus 6 is equals to 0 so this is a quadratic equation you can solve this one by factorization method so look for two numbers whose product is negative 36 and sum is 5 sum is 5 so these ones are negative 4 and 9 so let me factorize this so you get 6y squared plus 9y minus 4y minus 6 is equals to 0 so between 6y squared and 9y what is common 3y is common so remain with 2y plus 3 then minus 4y and negative 6 negative 2 is common so you have 2y plus 3 is equals to 0 so this one will simplify to 3y minus 2 to brackets 2y plus 3 is equals to 0 and this one will give <coughs> when you quit 3y minus 2 to 0 you'll get uh, y being two thirds or y that is when you quit 3y minus 2 is equals to 0 you get y as 2 thirds when you quit 2y plus 3 is equals to 0 you'll get this one as negative 3 over 2 so those are the two values of y the question is not asking about y you have to solve for x that is what you have in the question so remember that you had let y be represented by sin x so therefore sin x is equals to the first value of y because sin x is equals to y the first value of y is two thirds so with this one you can get the angles so if you want to get x the angle you get you simply get the sine inverse of two thirds and this one will give you get the sine inverse of two thirds this will give 41.81 for 21 degrees so look at the range that you're given x should be less than or equal to uh, 180 should be greater than or equal to zero so sign just consider the the circle unit circle sign is positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant because you can see two thirds two thirds is positive so it is positive in the first quadrant we get 41.81 from the first quadrant 
then the second quadrant <coughs> for the second quadrant to get that angle we take simply get 180 minus 41.81 degrees this one will give us the angle in the second quadrant which the sign of that angle will still give you two thirds so when you subtract these you get 138.19 degrees so therefore you have x is 41.81 in the first quadrant in the second quadrant 138.19 that was the first value of uh, x now the other one is this eh? y is equals to negative 3 over 2 so we substitute y with y was sine x so therefore sine x is equals to negative 3 over 2 which is the same as negative 1.5 for this one you're going to ignore it since it is not possible to get uh, the sine inverse of negative 3 over 2 so therefore we get the two answers the two values of x this question is 41.81 and 138.19 and they are within the given range